Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim! I'm Count Jack Fisco. Come and join me for an epic adventure! <sighs> Alright, so we're ready to get started here. Uh, yeah, it's one of the many things that's been breaking lately. Alright, so we crossed all the jungle to get here. So... I did leave. I went back to Skyrim and actually... Ugh, go back to the world map. Stop that. Uh, moved some stuff around. Broke some items down. A bunch of tedious shit that I had to do off camera anyway. And I think I know how to fix the actual Fighter's Guild quest. The problem apparently had been the fact that somehow the game broke and had us play the second to last mission before it started the third to last mission which broke the entire arc. So I need to have it reset us back to the mission it never gave us. We have to go through that mission, then we have to reset the mission that it did give us, so we'll be replaying a mission that we've already done, which will make a whole lot more sense now, because we missed the intro dialogue and the outro dialogues, it was broken anyway. But that should allow us to actually do the final quest, so it should complete the quest arc properly, then we can move on to the Mage's Guild. So, But first things first, we're already at the moon path to elsewhere, so we're going to finish it. But, uh, let's see, I also did, I was doing something else off camera with the, the Skyrim stuff, and I did, if, if it's important, I remember, I'll, I'll, I'll mention it, but I, I don't remember. But, yeah, we're in the little, what looks like town part. You're the main character that it wants us to talk to. Are you just another guard? Yeah, you're just another guard. All right, uh, excuse me, rude, kitty, push me out of the way. So I also notice we've got the boats over here and over here, so it almost looks like we got a little like town subsection thing. But I was doing a little bit of poking around when I came back, and it also very much goes to... Yeah, I found out you can kill the, the, the Ethereums, they're moon cows, and they actually have a crap ton of beef on them. So there's that's, that's a thing. Uh, these guys also give you a bunch of unique uh, chitin and their uh, meat, which actually increases magicka. Uh, there's a path that leads up to the mountain there and there was a tunnel over here somewhere that required a key i did minimal poking around between this last stream and this one because i didn't want to go seeing what there was to see i just wanted to make sure i hadn't like missed any thing that's really weird okay so i am currently using a paper lantern which i'm not sure what that i i assume the difference between the paper lantern and the the travel lantern is the travel lantern will actually work after you get out of the water, whereas I think that might actually destroy the paper lantern. I'm not entirely sure. I didn't know the paper lantern was part of the, the hip lantern mod, so there's that. I was I was using it for a while, but I hadn't like submerged or anything, so I don't know if it like fucked anything up. But I'm gonna switch back to the travel lantern because we know that one works properly. So let's go over here and see who these peoples are, because they seem to be like shops and stuff. And we just oh cool we can climb right up that you nope, stop i'll take the free stuff i don't want to steal anything okay so there actually is stealing in this mod i didn't think there was because we hadn't run into that yet komel the wanderer huh what do you do here i trade mostly those damn talmor have driven many kajit into the jungles and waterways we are their only supply line in this region Okay, can I not see your wares? You're obviously a vendor. That's really strange. Can I get back out, please? I'm stuck. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Mervar Den friend. Greetings, big guy. What are you guarding there? And what is it to you, little one? Speak to Kamel. He's in his barge down the stairs. If he vouches for you, Mervar may turn his ears to you. So go talk to the dude we just talked to. Got it. Incursion. Interesting. Tenmar Den. Okay, well that's a, apparently a thing. I'll take some Daedra hearts for free. Hell yeah. Don't have to kill a Daedra to get this shit? Why not? Grab all the stuff that ain't bolted down that's not stolen. Coel, so you're somebody else. Uh, Where is Coel? Was Coel the other guy we were talking to? I don't remember. All right, and this is the other boat. So another vendor, I'm assuming. 
Elite. All right, so let's try talking to Elite. Uh, can I? Did, okay, I got to finish. Hey, wait till you finish your animation. Got it. What's going on? Stop with this. D -d chill. Just chill. Stop moving the mouse around so damn much. Jeebus. What is going on here? Please, Wanderer. Talk to Emir first. I have to go. I'll see you soon. Remember to always follow the moon. It always leads to your destination. Right. So, obviously, you're a part of or a side quest related to why we're here, and we got to talk to the main person first. Get, get over the... Okay. No, you're Quamel. You're somebody else. Mervar insists you vouch for me. He seems agitated. Mervar guards us, but he can be stubborn. Just tell him to stop being an oaf, or I will twist his ears. O okay. What's going on here? Why is Mervar so paranoid? Well, you know. The kingdoms of elsewhere are now a Thalmor protectorate, but this does not mean everyone is a compliant vassal to their delusions. Makes sense. Well, let me guess, you people are rebels as well. Indeed, and all this moon sugar is going straight into our new maid's coffers. Hence Mervar's caution. Thalmor spies are everywhere. Makes sense. All right. So that takes care of that, and that is a relatively small building, so I kind of want to do that before we do the main quest arc. Hopefully it doesn't break anything. Quamel says he'll twist your ears. <laughs> that sounds like him, and he is not beyond actually doing it. Well, now that Mervar knows you are in the loop, why don't you help us out? Sure, why not? What am I helping with? Great. Pamar told me that Talmor Patrol is in the area. My twin Dervar is scouting near the Denmar Den. Go and see if he's alright, yes? Okay. How do I find your brother? He will stand out. He is Tushairat, like me. Just follow the path behind this door. It leads straight to the Denmar Den. Here, take this key. Why does it sound like this place is bigger than I think it is? Maybe we should go talk to the main character first. Uh, wait, who the hell are you? You look like Vendor. Business ledger. That must be related to the other Thieves Guild quest. Um, hello? So you had something to tell me? Yes, yes. My ears have heard from the Palmer. In the cathedral, they spotted a slot. Very, very dangerous. Eredor needs to know more. Oh, okay. slowed? I forget. What are slowed? Eredor understand, yes. You remember the first era. The slowed of Thras, masters of the dark arts, necromancers. Soft and wet, but very, very dangerous. Yeah, a little bit. I'll investigate the slowed for you. What's so dangerous about a slowed? Once the slowed were destroyed, revenge for a dark play, indeed. But they have returned. Stubborn slugs, they refuse to disappear. Yeah, they pop up like weeds. I'll investigate the slow for you. vigilant, dragonborn. Slods are very, very tricky. Silkskin is waiting for you in the Tenmar Cathedral. She has tracked this abomination. Okie dokie. But, uh, hello, who are you? You speak to Eretor, priest of Bandar, explorer, and non-expert in all matters of spirit and magic as well. Interesting. So this is not a shop, town-like area thing that I first thought it was. Interesting. Amir, so about this place? You get used to it, but nothing compared to the journey from Skyrim. Yes, you have heard tales of you, my friend. I'm surprised to find anybody here... I'm surprised to find anybody here to hear... Find anybody here to hear tales. That's an oddly structured sentence. What do you do here? You must have noticed the Palmer guarding us. We are essential to the moon sugar, my friend. And in a manner, we are the main emissaries for them. What are the moon paths? Well, you tell me. We've traveled on one. In short, they are the secret paths of the Khajiit caravans to use to move between the provinces. So, are they magical? Magical? Ha! <laughs> of course, following the moons to one's destination is always deeply magical experience for a Khajiit. But sparkly magic? No. Hey, Zerilis. How you doing? Well, apparently, you I gotta redo this it. conversation. But oh, nothing here we go. compared All to right. the journey from Skyrim. 
Yes. Let me move my mouse out of the way so it stops interfering. What are these giant cats? They speak to me as if I'm their master. They do? Such an honor. They must have felt great things in you. They speak to you in your own tongue, I guess. Honored indeed. I'd like to warn more of the uh, Palmar. I'm sure you would, but it's not allowed. Ailit can tell you later. Go speak to her. Okay, that unlocked her. Oh my gosh, I have to keep going you about this place just to get to the storyline. That's so to the weird. From Skyrim. Yes, you have heard tales of you, my friend. Are you the leader here? The leader? Every Khajiit in their own pillar. We follow only the moon and the main. But in a sense, I command respect amongst the folk here. Thank you, but I have urgent business elsewhere. Come see us soon. Any trade you bring us is appreciated. Stole, huh? Don't you mean... absconded with? <laughs> Alright. Let's uh, talk to Ait. Oh, she's going to stand up, so move it over here, because that's where she's going to be. Mary says it's an honor that the Palmyre speak to me. It is indeed. It means they have accepted you amongst them. No one besides us has been allowed to wander these waterways in this age. That, that, that's cold, Zerlis. That, that's cold. How strange. I don't feel like walking on all fours. By far. Are all travelers from Skyrim dense like the jungle? Yes. It means you are allowed to live here and rest in safety. The Pomer will guard you. Cool. Sweet taste Remember elsewhere. Remember to always follow the moon. It always leads to your destination. Okay. So we have the quest that leads us in there and... Wait, what the hell's leading us back? That's not the quest key. Find uh, Dervar and Deep Claw. Find Siltskin and find out about Slow's location. That must be the one that's having us go back, because we're not tracking anything else. And my mouse is being stupid already. That's that's great. That's 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 wonderful. It's it, even though the game locks it, it's still allowing me to move it and affect scrolling other windows, which is really annoying on my dad. All right, so let's go do this this Tenmar Den thing. So I don't know how far this goes, but the... Both of these are like side quests. I... Um... Oh, okay, I'm like, did I miss something? This just led to a hole. The hell's going on here? Balmor, I'll take him down. Frickin' Thalmor, come here! You guys are piece of shits anyway! Come here, you! Are you okay, buddy? Deep Claw, Denmaster. Oh no, there's still more fighting. I haven't killed all the Thalmor! Never mind, hold on! That, that kitty, you're in the way! I need to get past so I can murder the Thalmor! Go away. I'm gonna make no! damn sure I don't hit the cat. Found more soldiers. But, no. That's a cat. I can tell it has a cat tail. Don't tell me that's a Thalmor soldier. Everybody okay? Because that was just a little hectic. Am I a brute? I don't know if that was one of ours or one of theirs. I, I don't even know which side that was on. Uh, okay. Elder Scrolls Blades is canon with lots of lore. Uh, is it a mod? Is it a, an official game? What is it? Is it a book? <laughs> Alright, so we took care of these assholes. Oh, the phone game. Okay, yeah, well, I, didn't, I had never heard of it, so I didn't know what you were talking about. Like, that sounds like a book or something. Aw, they actually killed one of the guards. Come here, crab! I need your guts! No, don't fall through the world. Don't fall through the bloody world. Hey, Valiant, how's it going? Hey, moss. More hey, moss. I need to activate the damn lantern. We have light! Yes, tis another day. 
Poor kitty. Ah! See, I knew there was another guy that fell off somewhere. Give me your shit. Oh, wait, no. You're alive. You just glitched through the floor. So, are you the pride leader? Yes, Dora. I am Deep Claw, pride leader of the Denmar Pride. We welcome the Dragonborn to these parts. Dragonborn, you can tell? Of course. Don't forget we Khajiit have roamed Nern before the Mur came to Tamriel. We may have lost much, but one never forgets the voice. Can you help me? Not now, Dragonborn. The moon is not right yet. And here is not your place. I had the same reaction, Valiant. Apparently there's a hell of a lot more to the Khajiit lore than I had a friggin' clue about. But yeah, some of the Khajiit are actually cats that are still sentient. They're not uh, anthropomorphic cats. So I didn't know that. They really need to make an actual Khajiit in realm game. Because who they haven't done the Argonians, they haven't done the uh, Khajiit, uh, they haven't technically done the Orcs, even though there's the, they're the bad guy. Well, for a while they were the bad guys. Uh, there's quite a few factions they still haven't had a game take place in, so they could easily do more. I still want to go back and play Red Guard. Oh, wait, are you? Nope, you're just a regular guard. Before I talk to you, I want to poke around because I'm nosy. That's that's, that's what I do as an adventurer. I. I'm stuck on your damn stairwell. <laughs> what is this witchcraft? Any of this not steel? No. Okay, so it's all steel. I don't want to touch it then, because I don't want to steal. Yeah, I've heard whispers about the next one, but uh, I haven't heard where or what the storyline will be. But they still have a lot of kingdoms to go through. Are you alright, Denvar? Or Dervar? Whatever your name is. Never felt better. That was a good fight. A good day to spill some Talmor blood. <laughs> Wait, who are you again? Your brother sent me to see if you were alright? Ah, only one breath older, and yet he feels like an old man already. Tell him he needs to stop napping near the fire and come help us out. <laughs> right then, that was a colossally short quest. Can I move, please? I'm being pinned in by a cat. Let me out. Can I jump the guard? Yes. Okay, I can jump the guard. Uh, actually, unless it says uh, take, I don't steal the moon sugar. Because so far, this whole chapter, this whole mod, a majority of the stuff you can pick up. So what I can't pick up, I figure is relevant. So it's just like, don't steal this. But there actually has been some moon sugar they've let me take. So I've taken that moon sugar. Alright, so this little side quest is done. I'm assuming we gotta do all the side quests to move the main storyline forward. And through the door. Uh, no. For Skyrim, I won't actually be doing a cam. Because of the nature of how the series has gone down on YouTube. Uh, you, you tow rots really don't like, take kindly to the thumb or do you? That's th okay. The wording is, oh, this is confusing. Hey, Kiwi, how's it going? Ah, so the Talmor found Dervar, yes. Dervar, take it, they are no more. Good work. Keep the key. Perhaps Dervar will have need of you in the future. Oh, I'm sure. So, what's next? Cats will show the claws. That is next. We found where this Talmor patrol came from. They landed their airship at Pillar Falls. Airship? Yes. Must be something new they developed. We need to learn more. Take the passage near the fireplace here. Use this key. Find the captain's orders. Alright, that must be the other locked door that was back over here. That went into, like, the cave. Uh, the one we haven't gotten is, I don't know what we need to do to unlock this one. Oh, never mind. We just go there. My bad. Okay, so, you know what? I kind of want to go there, because I don't know what's going to happen when we start moving the, uh, well, no, because we, like, don't have the main arc thing rolling, so... 
from the seal skin about the cloak is okay. Yeah, that's got to be. Um, hmm. Let's just hope we don't break it. Well, I mean, that's still being productive, Kiwi, so that's not a bad thing. Oh, so I also found out you see little salmon just kind of floating in the river. You can reach down and grab them. Where's the. Give me the. I just. I saw him. I saw it's him. It said catch salmon. It actually gives you like fish meat or a full fish, depending on, I, I guess, a random variable. I don't know. Hey, Sai, how's it going? I'm doing good. Skyrim, man. It's always a good day. I love playing Skyrim. Even when it's pissing me off because the missions are broke. Oh, uh, Zeroliz, I think I know how to fix the quest with the uh, companions. What had happened is for reasons that make absolutely no sense, it skipped one of the major quests, the third from the last, and had us do the second from the last, and that's why it broke. So we had to reset it back to the third from the last quest, which never started, so we can go back and finish it. And then we'll be able to replay the one that we played that broke on us because it had broken because the one before it hadn't played. And then we could finally do the last one. So that should actually fix the uh, glitch. I don't know how the hell it skipped an entire main story arc. That's what doesn't make any sense. Because it skipped mission four and went straight to five. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Kiwi's ha having a rough day, so she's going to focus on the artistries. Uh, things, stuff. Um... Where the hell am I going? You want me to go over here? How far back are we going? Are we going back to the caravan? Where are we going? It's really interesting. Oh, no, I'm uh, for Skyrim because it's a YouTube series that was going on way longer than the channel. It won't actually have a webcam, at least not until I actually have the new overlay done where the webcam's not blocking any of the gameplay. For the games that I have been playing so far, I've been able to put my face somewhere where it's not interfering with a HUD pop-up or something that's critical to the gameplay. Uh, but I do need to get the overlay done so it shrinks the game slightly so my face is actually off to the side. Kind of like how Crash does, only it won't be 4x3. Uh, this is like a whole new area. This seems dark and ominous. I'm going to go back and go to that temple. Okay, so this is obviously the way forward in the storyline. Now that we know that, I'm actually going to go back and check out the temple. Because I didn't realize that. Yeah, I, I've never had night terrors. I've just had nightmares. And from what I understand, they don't even compare to night terrors. Night terrors are worse because you don't remember it. And you just wake up with an overwhelming sense of dread. Which, even the worst nightmare in the world, doesn't feel that bad. Well, I know that, Sai. It'll be back on Wednesday. It's okay. You'll see my face then. That and I'll actually be able to properly illuminate my green screen by then. Because I'll actually have a string of lights coming up that'll go around the uh, perimeter of the green screen. So it shouldn't have the... Oh, it's it, since it's not properly illuminated, it doesn't look properly green. So it did all that sparkly shit in the corners like it did before. Yeah, I... From, I, I don't know a lot about Nine Terrors, but from what little I know, there's not really a way to treat them themselves. You have to treat whatever the cause is that's triggering them. So there's sadly no simple way of just getting rid of them. Like with nightmares, obviously, whatever you're having a nightmare of is the nightmare, so you can address that particular issue so you can stop having the nightmares. With Night Terrors, it doesn't work like that. It's not that simple. It's usually much deeper reasons. And I'm going the wrong way. I'm supposed to go to the temple. Yes, you is not alone. You has all of us. I need to try to juggle my schedule so I can make time so Sai and I can play something. Because, oh my god, I, I only stream three days a week, but between YouTube and trying to fit in everything else that I'm trying to do, it's like, there's not enough days in the... Hi! How do you not notice me? Hello? How do you... You... Boys, I wasn't even sneaking. How the hell did you not hear me? That was really, really weird. <laughs> well, I'll do what I can to make a guest appearance. <laughs> it's, I, I don't know if I have any control over that sign. <laughs>
Yeah, because I know th there can be neurological causes of those, and there can be psychological causes of night terrors. So depending on which it is, it, it, it's, it's never a simple process, unfortunately. And like I said, I, I don't know that much about it, so there's not really a whole lot I can say that would help, because I, I do not have any form of expertise in that. I, I wish I, I knew something that would help. I, I mean, I, I, I would say drink Earl Grey tea, but I, I don't think that'll do anything. I get. What the? Swap fungal pot. Okay, that's new. I don't think I've ever seen those before. Well, even if it's not something for stream, even if it's just like hanging out, man, I think that'd be fun to do. I gotta try to like schedule co-op days because one of the days I'm dedicating to my nephew because he's having a really rough time right now, so I'm gonna be hanging out playing games with him all day. Uh, another one I'm swapping between hanging out with Cat or um, a personal friend who I don't get to see very often or uh, once in a blue moon when Brit is available, a collab with Brit that currently is the forest. I saw that movement. Uh, Sundays are usually co-op with my friends, so at the very least, depending on scheduling and your time, we might be able to try to get you in on that. Although that one would be more for... I mean, you could stream your side. I don't think any of us would care. But on our end, it would probably... Well, Tom streams, but uh, boy like uh, streams. But that's just because he doesn't really... Hi, Raptors! I was wondering where you boys were. I heard you screaming. That's just because with Boylag, because of the fibromyalgia, he doesn't really have the energy to stream and play. He usually has to combine the two. So that's... The thing? Oh, it's the leaves. I'm like, what the hell's making that shadow? Yeah, I know Hin occasionally plays with uh, Cat as well. Uh, to my understanding, mostly strategy. I don't know if they play other things. There you are. I heard you through the, 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 the thing. Come through! I can't see you in the in the freaking this this stop hiding in the grass. Giant spiders! Come here, Jungle Queen. Let's play. Sorry, I'm like trying to keep up on chat as well as like you know half-ass fight here because I'm focusing more. <laughs> Uh, originally that was the case, but that, yeah, uh, your Mondays and Wednesdays. Yeah. Cause you're technically in the future. Cause that would be my, uh, Sundays and Tuesdays. So yeah, that was, it, that's still very much the case, uh, with Saturdays or your Sundays, I may or may not be available. It largely depends on how bad of a week my nephew has and whether or not he needs to hang out. Creep cluster. Interesting. Yeah, I, I figured with, with the Aussie internet. That's why I was thinking, I don't know if um, Crash would be able to collab either, at least not on stream. I think you'd have to like join other people's streams. I don't know if he'd be able to do it at the same time. Yeah, I mean, that's that's easily a doable thing. Dude! Oh, I don't say hijack. I thought the game crashed for a second. I was like, shit! <laughs> Threw me off for a second. Yeah, we we seriously got to... I mean, once shit settles down in the world, we, we got to look into getting you in... Uh, let's see. who There's a bunch of you. There's you. There's... I don't know if Doc wanted to come over, uh, but I know you and Crash do. And I I I don't remember Holly said she would. She, she joked about it, but I don't know if she was actually serious about wanting to move stateside. But, yeah, I mean... Hell, even from a personal standpoint, just moving to any other country with better internet, not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with Australia, it's just this internet sucks. It would help you guys a lot with the uh, vocations, you're, or at least the, I guess it would be the avocation that you're pursuing, you know, being Twitch and all. My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoyed them. So you all take care of yourselves, and if you want to see more of me, keep up the video on the list, or stay tuned for more. 
Feel free to leave a comment below. Please remember to take that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everyone.